Welcome to the vlog again, Maddie here. Today, we're gonna start the Ken Swap project on my 07 Corvette. This is probably the hardest thing that I ever tried to do. Uh, I'm not afraid, to be honest. I think, worst case scenario, what can happen? I need a new motor, so it is what it is. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm very excited to learn, and of course, I'm not gonna do everything by myself. I will try to explain as much as I can. Uh, this video has, uh, the goal is to show that anybody can do it because when you think about a project like this, the hardest part to do is the labor and the most expensive also is the labor. I just want to show you guys that a simple guy like myself and with uh, some help from other friends, we can get this done. And today it's the day we're gonna start again. I don't know how long this video is gonna be or how many videos. So stick around. If you are not a subscriber, make sure to subscribe so you can get more of this uh, kind of project. Again, uh, this is gonna be, uh, we're gonna start today and we're gonna take this car to the dyno, which probably is gonna close this series. First, let's remove the wheels, the hood. I don't forget, protection is key. replace the radiator bracket first so the hood has to come out that's the one we're gonna replace because it's cracking uh, and then I'm also gonna clean as much as I can because the this thing is filthy what I did with the hood is I put some marks so I put some marks there see like the, the red one so I know where the bolt needs to go because aligning this hood is not the most fun thing to do. All right, never easy taking this for yourself. Now you can see better the marks I made it. See, the red one. That the mark, so I know where the screws need to go back because align the the hood alignment. It's always a pain. So now I need to uh, remove the bumper. We have access to the right ear support and then we're gonna see how hard it is to take that out. Yo, bumper's out, and that's what I'm talking about here. Look at that. See, it's not, it's it's completely broke this part here. Also, it's cracked in here. Can you see it? And also, let's see this side. And in this side here, it's also, you see, it's cracking. So it is gone. It is definitely time for a new one. Just like that, out of the old, in with the new. This is a very common thing that happens with the Corvettes. Because look, this hits the floor and normally cracks over here and over here. See, that's where it normally cracks. Uh, this, one, this side here is not cracking here, but it broke the top piece on both sides. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just transfer over all this uh, brackets and uh, the screws because the bumper attached to here. And just a quick tip, uh, that's what I did to kind of make uh, better. So I put a like a uh, piece of wood on my jack just to support the radiator. So, see? Uh, and then the only thing is all the harness needs to go through the new one before we attach everything back on. Uh, just make sure you do that. But other than that, 
It's not, uh, it's not a hard job at all. I thought it would be worse. Here, the only thing you need to remember is to put the harness through this before you attach everything back. But other than that, should cuff up easily. It's just sitting on the screws like I need to tie those. But one thing I didn't see anywhere explaining is the, the horn. You see, there's a screw here. You need to disattach the horn from the old one and attach to the new one. And pretty much this, that's it. These are the harness for the headlights. These are for the fog lights. And these are for the side marks. That's it. It's probably, it's almost done. I'm gonna tie everything up and then that's it. Done. Completely done. Brand new bracket, dude. I feel so much better having this bracket there. One thing, I don't know if you guys noticed my air, then it's like, I just have this piece over here. So I don't have here on the side, so I might as well just leave it without it. It's not gonna do anything, it's just a hair dam. I remove it on the truck, why not remove it on the Corvette, right? So now, I'll leave the bumper off until I'm done with the cam. I'm gonna drain the coolant and start putting this, uh, putting, start removing the, the cold air intake. Look at this. This, it's already done. <laughs> and, uh, we're gonna come here uh, and then you have there is this valve here once you open the coolant comes from here so but one thing we need to do we need to open the reservoir on the top and then we'll go from there so my uh, it's actually low because my water pumping it's it's uh, leaky so we're gonna fix everything. While the cool is too draining, we gonna I'm gonna start putting uh, the cold air intake apart and also the spark plugs. We're gonna do some clean it up and I'll try to get as much down as possible as far the parts uh, we'll see where we're gonna get i need to take the stereo wheel fluid out because i don't want to be like some friends they spill everything over the garage if you know what i'm saying love you guys but i put a gopro there so i'll throw you guys a time lapse and if there's anything like it's like really hard to do or i i have a problem but it should be a really uh easy uh, plug and play uh, play here uh, as far as some bolts there and you see my radiator uh, cover it's broke I'll see what I can do I'm also gonna get rid of this old sticker we're gonna make it look better for sure so enjoy the time lapse So I don't know if my GoPro is showing the time lapse, but I took it out the radiator. Uh, basically the cold air intake, and the radiator as well. The only thing I'm gonna do tomorrow for you is gonna be a different video, of course. I'll take the water pump out and look how bad my water pump though. It's just really bad. And also I broke one piece here, which is this hose here. Uh, actually, I don't know how that broke because I didn't put that much pressure on. That comes from the the this 
part and connects to the, the part that goes through the throttle body. So if you guys know which part is this, let me know because I don't need any one for sure. I also secured the steering wheel. See here, all this strap down. So it's not moving because when we're gonna remove the steering wheel rack, which is, it's over here. You can see down there. Uh, the steering wheel cannot move at all once we're gonna remove that. One, one thing I also did, I removed the spark plug wires, which they are here. So those are the parts that are removed, right? Spark plugs, I have everything labeled and easy block so I don't lose it. I'm trying to be as organized as possible. The radiator is there uh, and all the miscellaneous parts are there. Thanks so much for watching guys. It, it has been fun, I'm learning a lot. Uh, I don't know how much the, the time lapse show you guys but until this point is not hard at all. Of course taking the rack out is the worst part. One thing I might do too is I'm gonna uh, this is next video. I'm gonna paint my valve co covers. See some there? Why not, right? Uh, and then we, we take from there. All right. I hope you guys enjoy this crazy, crazy. I cannot believe my Corvette is a part like this, and but I'm loving it. I'll see you guys next upload. Never forget, enjoy life and work hard for it.